and gentlemen, welcome inside the Pearl Concert Theater. Here inside the legendary Palm Casino Resort in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. This is Boxing This is Top Rank. Presented by Hall of Fame boxing promoter Mr. Bob Arum. And brought to you this evening by AutoZone. Get in the zone. And by Bud Light, the official beer of celebration. We are sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Executive Director Jeff Mullen. Chairman Anthony A. Marnell III. Our physicians at ringside, Dr. David Obert, Dr. Jay Coates, Dr. Tristan Cooper, and Dr. Brandon Sneed. Your timekeepers this evening, James Cabot and Richard Urquides. Our judges for this main event, Max DeLuca, Chris Migliori, and Steve Weisfeld. And the man in charge at the sound of the bell, Mr. Alan Huggins. And now, to everyone watching on ESPN Plus, and to everyone here inside the Palms Casino, 10 rounds for the WBC, WBA, and Ring Magazine Minimum Weight Championships of the World. And as always, this is boxing. This is Top Rank. And no! Uh, Introducing first out of the Bud Light Blue Corner. She weighed in at 103.7 pounds. Wearing black and sky blue trunks. Her record, 19 victories. With only one defeat, three draws, one no contest. One of those victories coming by way of knockout. She is the former IBF flyweight champion of the world making her 12th world title appearance from San Juan, Argentina, Leonela Udica! Introducing out of the red corner, she weighed in at 104.4 pounds, wearing red trunks with gold trim. Her record, Perfect. 24 fights, 24 victories, nine of those victories coming by way of knockout. She is the former WBO light flyweight champion of the world. She is making her fourth world title defense. She is one of boxing's pound for pound queens. She is the reigning, defending WBA. WBC Ring Magazine Minimum Weight Champion of the World from East Los Angeles, California, Sanisa Superbad Estrada. See her father, Joe Estrada, with his daughter. Family that has overcome so much to find this success. Okay, you both been giving this touch to me, Obey my command at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch him up, let's go. Daughter of a Mexican immigrant, she has detailed her father's Touchdown. struggles and involvement at one point. Gangs and issues with drugs. He was in prison when she was a young girl. He's a wonderful force of goodness in her life now. They would watch big fights together. And she once asked her father, hey, dad, do girls box? And he said, yes, you can do whatever you want. And what she has done has become one of the best fighters in the sport in the world. Here we go. Round number one. Tim, what are you looking for early as Superbad throws off a right uppercut? Of course, I'm looking for Superbad to close the distance. She's fighting a taller opponent who likes to fight off the back foot and looks for counters, particularly the left hook and occasionally the right uppercut. Those are two punches you should look for for with Yadika. But Estrada, she possesses exceptional footwork, hand speed, agility. She can do a little bit of everything inside the ring. So just sit back and watch her do her thing. I was very aware of the counterpunching of Yadika when we were asking her about the strategy earlier, right hand to the body from Estrada. She said, you got to be a bit patient. You fight a counterpuncher, you have to be patient. She's going to throw long and perhaps counter her counters. Faint a lot, make her miss. And she also said going to the body she thought would be key against Yudika. And she's gone to the body a few times already. Interesting enough, 
She knows. She's been boxing for a extremely long time. She has experience. She understands the importance of going down to the body. Why not get it early advantage by breaking your opponent down to the body? As you can see, she switches southpaw, and she seamlessly switches into orthodox stance. So just, just, just watch how she gets in position and gets out of range. Right hand to the body. There it is right there. She's she threw the shoot. right hand to the body from that southpaw stance. It just crosses over so seamlessly to the southpaw stance. <laughs> Another right hand to the body. Tries the three-punch combination, finishing upstairs. End of one. Unified champion, Sinisa Estrada. She told us what her motivation is. Fans from L.A. here. She's from East L.A. Sinisa Estrada in that first round. She had a 13 to 6 connect advantage. Of course, two minute rounds in women's boxing. Listen to me, I believe that innovation comes from finding ways to bend the rules. This is completely against the rules to what she's going to do here. She's going to come out with a lead hook, straight left hand, turns into the orthodox stance from the southpaw stance, and then attack from the orthodox stance. Kim gets the rules. You're not supposed to be changing right directly in front of your opponent at mid-range because you can get caught. You can get caught on the way in if you don't time it right and go down. But that shows you her coordination, her balance, and her ability to throw from any angle, anytime she pleases. Now, listen, some of the best to ever do this have been rule breakers when it comes to the conventional way. But she is so skilled, so athletic, so talented. So right now, the problem that I'm seeing right now from Sinisa is, is that she's standing at mid-range, and Yudika has longer arms. So if she's standing outside, she's going to get hit. When she attacks and she steps back to get out of range, she, she's not out of range. She's not fully out of range. So she has to be careful because Yudika, what she has is a left hook, a sweeping left hook. Yudika able to land cleanly moments ago. See, it's important for Estrada to get off her offense and then close the distance immediately. It's important. You need to be either all the way in or all the way out, or you're going to get caught with shots like that. Yadika having a good round right now. She is. She's doing extremely well. Former world champion. She's down to her lower lowest weight she's ever been in her career to take on this challenge. Just slightly after the bell as they came with that trade and exchange. So Yadika... Leonel Yudika really picked up the pace in that second round. She landed 12 of 50 punches thrown. Estrada was 14 of 39. Just her second fight in the U.S. for the Argentinian fighter. Fought 22 times back home. Lightest weight of her 11-year pro career, we mentioned. Bernardo, what are they saying? On Sinisa's corner, Dean Campos was saying, we've got to slip inside that right hand. And for Yudika, the instructions are, hit her during the guard change, because that's when you have opportunities. Explain that further, Timmy, what, what that means. During the guard change. That can mean hit her when she switches southpaw. Yes. That's, they they want to catch her in between when she's switching from orthodox to southpaw. Because she's not balanced. When you lift up that back foot to bring it forward, you, you're, you're off balance. Literally off balance. You have one foot on the ground. So if, if Yadika was to time that switch, stay calm and time that switch, she can catch her off balance and, could, and it could produce a knockdown. Trying to punch between punches. And as Yudika steps forward to Superbad. Sweeping that right hand across the body. She's been targeting that body. Early on has Estrada. And that orthodox stand. Check hook as Yudika came forward. 
contest, you can see a lot of experience from Yudika. A lot of experience. A lot of pro experience. She's patient, she's calm, she's not panicking. She's making good decisions, great sound decisions, throwing the right shots at the right time. And right now, she has Estrada a little befuddled. And look at on the way out, she catches her on the way out. Good right hands in that exchange from Estrada. Stop of the bell. Good punch right combination Good comes combination in from right Estrada. Yes. End of three in our world championship fight. assessment to Sinisa Estrada, the world champion, saying, hey, it's two rounds to one right now. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he stressed wanting to see a little more defensive presence on the inside by way of staying low and yes. punching and not being straight up to become more of a target. When you're a shorter fighter and you're fighting against a, a person with the longer arms and taller than you, you cannot pull straight back because they have longer arms. They'll be able to follow you out. And what's happening is, is that Estrada, she's throwing the combinations and she's getting thinking that she's clear and out of range, but she's not. And she's getting caught in the process. That was a nice left hand to the body on that last exchange by Estrada. And the way she shifted in that from the southpaw stance to the orthodox stance was no joke. That was a big right hand. Well, it was. There's that danger zone, that mid-range. There's that check hook from that orthodox stance, always willing to fire that off. And now Yudika with her back up against that neutral corner before they tie up. Alan Huggins, our referee for this championship fight. Oh. Another left hand catches Yudika nice. as she came forward. That way she baited her in. She did well timed. And the trap laid by Sinisa Estrada. See, that's the guard change that they're talking about. It's not the stance switch. That's the guard change. You see how she's shifting back and forth? Those are called pre-slips. They're saying attack her when she's doing the pre-slips. Not in position to fire back yes. as well as she could yes. be. Not settled with her feet in a punching stance. Look at this exchange as we come down the stretch of round number four. Good Yudika opening up with a right hand and then a left follow. Good exchange to close out round number four. And this is a close fight. It's really, really close. And she's really uncomfortable. Take a deep breath. Come on, yes. Try to do your, your side moves at the outside. Her punches always come out here. Stay in the inside. Once you get close, stay in her. It's just, you know, I'm telling you folks at home, this is not your traditional type of boxing. This is different stuff. This is unique. This is innovative. It works for her. And it's fun to watch. The unified champion, you see the punches last round where she had a 20 to 17 edge. Overall, Sinisa Estrada has a 67 to 47 total connect edge against the former flyweight world champion, Leonela Udika. Heard from Dean Campos, trainer of Estrada, again telling her, stay on the inside. Break. Oh, stop, 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 stop. 
Stop it. Listen, listen, okay? Go ahead and on the break. All right, you okay? All right, let's go. <laughs> Who she was listening to was Campos because as soon as she found that real estate there, Timmy. Yes. He said, stay on the inside, stay on the inside. Yes. And instead of breaking, she kept throwing punches there. Oh, absolutely. Stay on the inside is right, because as soon as you get out and you think you're clear, you're not. Yadika's going to be looking for you to exit, and she's going to extend with those arms, and she's going to land something. But I like the adjustment that I'm seeing from Estrada. What she's doing is now she's countering the counter. She's trying to draw and bait Yadika with the guard change, now she understands what she's trying to attack, and she's setting her up, setting a trap to be able to land her offense. Halfway. Right hand comes in from Estrada. Good follow-up combination right there from Yadika. Some of those punches miss, a few got in. But the aggression matters. Yes. And she talks about coming and fighting on the road in Vegas against a champion like this. You want to stay as aggressive as you can. Let those hands go. End of five. Remember, ten rounds. It was simply flawless the last time out when she won the WBC belt against the previously undefeated Tina Ruprecht. It's a far different challenge, especially stylistically. All right, so game, game plan switch real quick. Adjustment, minor adjustment from Yadika and their team. They're looking to fight fire with fire. So they're looking to land in between the shots, the wide shots of Estrada. So when she throws, they're gonna, she's going to try to throw with her. Not sure if that's smart, because I don't think she can... She can match this output, but I could. She might surprise me. Trading more than I expected is Judica. She's showing her versatility right now. She's trying to inching forward in that southpaw stance. She's setting a trap, Tess. Yep. Setting a trap. Watch that backhand, the moment, there it is. Ooh. And then switches over orthodox, the moment that Yudika throws. That left hook is finding a home for Yudika. Again with the left hook. There it is again. He's thrown between punches. Yes. Good action here in round six. Good, good shot. Fighting backwards and able to land. Yes, there. off her back foot. That was impressive stuff by Sinisa Estrada. Right uppercut from Udika. Estrada easily fires back. The stand switches is what's the problem right now for Estrada when she gets in situations when she's trying to exit. Just the long arms and the experience of Udika is surprising. Her. Making it difficult. Big fight week. As he had a great visit with Mark Kriegel, came by to tell us everything that's going on. And listen, he's going to have this path at 140 pounds that he's detailed against Regis Progre, and then already talks about a super fight. If he wins that, a super fight of Devin Haney, Tiafimo Lopez. I, I like the way that sounds, but he can't get ahead of himself. Regis Progre is a bad boy. Don't judge that man by his last performance now. He's Round good. number seven here of our title fight. Mark, how do you have it scored? 58, 56, Sinisa Estrada with the caveat. Listen, you could see that third round either way. I gave you Dika the, the last round. The problem she's going to have, what she said before, she doesn't have the power. She's going to have to win a decision on the road. She says she's ready to leave everything she has in that ring. We're going to see over these next four rounds. Bernardo? Yes, I just spoke with Daniel Alcaraz, who is the uncle and trainer of Leonela Yudica, and he told me, look, if the judges are watching what I'm watching, they have it a draw so far, and if they keep fighting at this pace, it should be a draw where neither loses. Well, there's still a lot to be determined here down the stretch. That would only be one round off of what Mark Kriegel has, who favors Estrada. As we've heard from many of the ringside observers here at ringside, just a slight edge toward Estrada in terms of rounds at this point, but to be determined, final minute of round number seven.
Man, two minute rounds and only 10 rounds. Every moment counts with titles on the line of women's boxing. Yeah, but they're truncated. But they're throwing they're throwing more <laughs> more punches than me. They are. <laughs> this has been good action. <laughs> Not surprising with these two. In two minutes versus three. Oh, it's a oh. right hand that comes in from Udika. And Estrada fires back, but that was a solid right hand from the challenger. Those angles angling out the way she does is not working against the taller opponent in Yudika. Yudika is too experienced. She sees it. Good exchange here at the end of seven. Crowd is loving it. hand on the temple of Estrada as she tried to get off some offense. Three rounds to go. Six minutes to determine it as Sinisa Estrada looks to defend her two belts. Total punches, a 114 to 98 advantage for Estrada. Total punches, you have two fighters coming up on 400 thrown to this point. This is mental Good fortitude. body shot. Test. Mental fortitude right here. This is where champions are made. The great ones, they figure it out. Even when you're not having your best performance, you still find a way to win. Estrada's gonna have to do that tonight. Good shot. Targeting that body again. Good shot. The again. sweeping left hand that's able to hit between punches. To Yadika throwing those combinations out at range. Estrada's right there to be hit. She's letting her hands go and she usually right. lands. But no one's been able to make her pay. Yadika's making her pay for her mistakes. Well, when you throw over 400 punches to this point, you're going to create opportunity oh. for the opponent. There's another right hand that lands as Estrada just continues to throw. And every so often, Yudika's taken advantage of those openings. It was a right hand that landed moments ago. This is a good fight, Timmy. Yes, it with is. With two belts on the line, as we will have two rounds to determine it here in Vegas at the Palms. And you're winning it now. You're winning. I got some more fastening for you. Take a deep breath. Come on, we got a whole minute to work. Relax. Big shot down to the body. She's dead. And let her punch wherever she does. And you go inside to pop punches, all right? Listen to me on this. I'm telling you. Don't try to be spectacular. Win the fight. You look spectacular the next time. There was no bruising prior to that right hand, and now you see as Sinisa Estrada is the world champ. A pound for pound elite comes out for round number nine, bruising around that left eye. Meanwhile, a knot on the head of Leonel Udika. Power punches in the last round. Udika had a 16 to net to 10. Connect advantage on power punches. She has come here knowing what a challenge it would be, and she is giving everything she can. As Estrada presses the action again, Yudika fires between those punches. Good action here. Round number nine. Ten rounds in this championship fight. See, they, see, Yudika knows. Started boxing at 19. She knows that when you fight. A shorter opponent, just as Estrada is. You drop your level, 
You're the same height as her. You were able to get underneath her shots, and you're able to extend with your offense because you have the longer reach. Just watch how she drops her level when Estrada attacks. That time she comes forward behind the jab, throws the one, two. Wide shot was blocked. There it is. There's a short Good right hand from Estrada at the end of that. Good combinations. Way to be in position to throw those shots for Estrada. Deep and pushing down on the neck of Estrada. Looks like nothing, but it can tire you out when you're this deep into a championship fight, especially with the output that these fighters have put forth. Nice Good shot. Good hook from Estrada. The left hook by Estrada puts a stamp on round number nine. Okay. In and out. I need that here in this round. All right? Give me motion, but keep your hands high. See when you got close afterwards, you were safe. She couldn't go anything. All the punches are flying over your head. Stay close and then give me a shot and stay down. Then give me a shot. Don't go boom, boom, boom. Estrada, don't go boom, boom, boom. You go boom, let her punch, then boom to the body, boom, and then boom. And you keep putting your hands up. We're headed to the 10th and final round with two belts on the line. Mark, how do you have it scored? 86, 85, Sinisa Estrada. There's a couple rounds in there could go either way. Listen, it comes down to this round, fellas. That's according to Mark Kriegels. He has been scoring ringside. So the unified champion with a tough test tonight. A 144 to 131 connect advantage as Udika have, has been gained. She's put forth a good strategy. Estrada has delivered on everything you'd expect, but Udika, a recent champion, had such a long run as a titleist, is showing her experience. Estrada coming forward. So Catches smart. her with that left hook again. That's what I'm talking about, Tess. That left hook may carry these final rounds. But Yudika's game. She is. But, but right now, she's running into some traps from Estrada. She's luring her in. She's acting like she's going to commit, and then she'll get out, and she'll throw her own offense. There it is again. That time from the southpaw stance. Yes. So she draws her in from that southpaw stance and lands the right hook. It was the left hook moments ago. See, that's what you have to do with counter punches. You have to draw them in, and then you have to counter them. Counter the counter. The counter. There it is with the left hand. Good boxing now, ah. and a right hand to the body. This is what champions do. When it's on the line, they act like it. They the show ones. it. Yes, the great ones do it, Tess. They figure out a way, even when they're not feeling well. Switching stances. Right hand Good for right Udika. Hand. Another one. This fight has absolutely delivered. Ooh. Excellent action throughout. There's the clap. Final 10 seconds. Ooh. Wow. Good stuff. <laughs> Very good stuff between Estrada and Yudika, Timmy. I'm telling you. And Yudika's happy with her performance. She feels that she won this match, that she did enough to win this battle. And Estrada closing strong. Finally putting together, finding the key to victory. Counter the counterpuncher. Great round for her. Great finish. Not sure how the judges have it, but what a heck of a match. Before, I thought that Sinisha showed a real dog in that final round. Um, you know, it's a close fight no matter what. I applaud Yudika because taking this fight, coming overseas, willing, a champion willing to be the B-side is why the female side of this sport is taking off 
while the guys take sabbatical while they look for unification fights. Let's hear how the judges had it in our championship fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds here inside the Pearl Concert Theater at the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas, Nevada, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Max DeLuca, Chris Migliori, and Steve Weifeld all score the bout 97-93 for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, WBC, WBA, minimum weight champion of the world, Senisa Superbad Estrada! Senisa Superbad Estrada, as she will take those two belts back, and she hopes to grab two belts that are owned by a woman sitting ringside, Yocasta Valle, who is the other titleist. The goal is to be undisputed. She thinks she can do that this year. Estrada Great to see Valle show up. Unanimous decision.